Inside every man, millions of tiny cells begin a journey they are not yet ready for. They have the shape of sperm, they carry the genetic blueprint for new life. But at the moment they're born, inside the testicles, they are completely useless. They cannot swim, they cannot sense direction, they cannot fertilise anything. They can't even maintain their structure long enough to survive a simple temperature change. They are, in a biological sense, unfinished prototypes. And yet, nature has designed a remarkable solution. A long, coiled tube hidden behind each testicle, where immature sperm are taken apart and rebuilt. A place where they receive upgrades, fine-tuning and the final abilities that define what a sperm truly is. Most men never learn its name. Yet this single organ determines whether sperm will succeed or fail. It's the epididymis, a 20-foot biological training ground folded into a structure no bigger than a finger. Over 14 days, sperm inside it undergo one of the most dramatic transformations in human biology. Motility switches on, protein coats assemble, membranes change chemistry, navigation sensors activate, and the cell becomes fully functional. Without this place, fertilization would be impossible. Today, we're travelling inside this hidden organ, where millions of sperm learn how to move, how to survive, and how to become capable of creating human life. This is the story of how sperm grow up. Let's go inside. To understand the epididymis, we need to understand where sperm come from and why they arrive incomplete. Inside the testicles, sperm begin their life in the seminiferous tubules, a dense forest of tightly packed coils. Here, spermatogonia divide, differentiate, and eventually transform into immature sperm cells. This process takes around 74 days, but even after all that time, the sperm produced are still not ready. When they leave the testicles, they look like sperm, but they behave like passengers waiting to be trained. Their tails are stiff, the membranes that protect their DNA are unstable. The acrosome, the cap that helps penetrate an egg, is sensitive and fragile. Most importantly, the proteins needed for motion and recognition are missing. Nature's solution isn't to fix them inside the testicle, but to send them somewhere else for final preparation. That somewhere is the epididymis, a single tube curled into three major regions. One, the caput, head, receives immature sperm, begins the biochemical stabilisation process. Two, the corpus, body, fine-tunes proteins, activates internal machinery, adjusts the membrane. 3. The corda, tail, stores fully matured sperm, ready for ejaculation. What makes the epididymis extraordinary is not just its shape, but its intelligence. Epithelial cells lining the tube release a sequence of over 200 proteins, lipids, antioxidants and RNAs that reprogram each sperm cell. This organ doesn't simply store sperm, it teaches them. It adjusts their environment step by step, preparing them for the intense journey ahead. A race through cervical mucus, a battle against the female immune system and a final sprint toward the egg. But this is only the beginning. To understand how sperm transform from fragile cells into powerful swimmers, we must zoom in, microscopically, into each stage of this 14-day upgrade. The epididymis is more than a storage tube. It's a biological workshop. As sperm travel through its coiled passageway, they undergo upgrades in three major categories. 
1. Structural remodeling. Immature sperm entering the epididymis have stiff, inflexible tails. These tails cannot generate propulsion because the internal proteins aren't aligned and the energy-producing mitochondria aren't organized properly. Inside the epididymis, microtubules realign. Outer dense fibers strengthen. Mitochondria wrap tightly around the midpiece. The tail gains flexibility and whip-like motion. This gives sperm the power to swim. 2. Membrane re-engineering. The sperm membrane is completely transformed. It becomes enriched with cholesterol, proteins and receptors that help sperm survive oxidative stress. Navigate chemical cues. Bind to the egg's outer layer, zona pellucida. Regulate calcium flow for controlled movement. Without these changes, a sperm would die long before reaching the egg. 3. Molecular programming. Perhaps the most fascinating transformation occurs inside the cell. Small packages called epididymosomes, tiny vesicles released by epididymal cells, deliver microRNAs, proteins, ion channels, enzymes. These molecular messages activate the sperm's internal software. They control when it moves, how it moves, and how it recognizes the egg. This process is so important that infertility can occur even if sperm look normal under a microscope, because internally the programming failed. 4. Activation of motility. Motility, the ability to swim, is not present when sperm leave the testicles. It turns on only after calcium channels activate, pH levels rise. Mitochondrial ATP production increases. The tail's beating pattern becomes coordinated. The sperm doesn't just move, it moves directionally, sensing chemical gradients through receptors activated along the epididymis. By the time sperm reach the corda epididymis, they are fully engineered swimmers. They wait in a dormant, low metabolic state, ready for the signal that will send them into the vas deferens but their most dramatic moment is still ahead. Imagine a sperm cell at the final chamber, the cauda epididymis. It has spent nearly two weeks transforming, upgrading and preparing. It now has a stable membrane, functioning ion channels, organized mitochondria, calibrated receptors, the ability to swim with force, the chemical tools to eventually fuse with an egg. It is, for the first time, complete. But the epididymis has one final test, keeping sperm alive for days or even weeks. To do this, it places them in a suspended state, a biological sleep mode that preserves energy. This is the moment when everything is ready. But nothing happens yet. Then the body sends a signal. During arousal, smooth muscles around the corda contract, pushing the now mature sperm into the vas deferens. The sperm are no longer passive passengers. They are now fully functional cells, capable of movement and survival. From here, they join fluids from the seminal vesicles and prostate, creating semen that will be expelled during ejaculation. The transformation is complete. But the climax of the story is this. Without the epididymis, none of it would happen. A sperm cell born in the testicle is like a vehicle without fuel, without wheels and without navigation. The epididymis turns it into a machine built for endurance, survival and precision. Every fertilization that has ever happened relied on this silent, hidden organ. An organ that upgrades microscopic life, one cell at a time. The epididymis is one of the quiet geniuses of the human body. Most people never hear its name, few understand its importance. But every human life in history began with the work this organ performs.
It transforms fragile, unfinished cells into strong, capable swimmers. It reshapes, rewires and reprograms them with astonishing precision. It is the final checkpoint where sperm gain the abilities that define their purpose. When we zoom out, we see something profound. Life doesn't begin at fertilization. It begins earlier, in the hidden corridors of the epididymis, where millions of sperm learn how to survive the impossible journey ahead. Here, evolution has carved a masterpiece, a tube that is part training ground, part laboratory, part life support system. It reminds us that even the smallest cells require enormous preparation. Strength is not given overnight, it is built through thousands of microscopic steps. Just as humans grow through experience, sperm mature through transformation. And maybe that is the quiet lesson tucked into this story. That everything in nature, from the largest organisms to the smallest cells, must undergo a journey to become what they are meant to be. The epididymis is not just a tube. It is a teacher, an engineer, and a guardian of potential life. And inside it, over just 14 days, the blueprint of humanity gains its final spark of ability. The ability to move toward the future.